Welcome to this walkthrough for the frame editor by Chaos Culture. Set up. To add a MIDI controller, you simply insert a new MIDI track into your live set and set the input and output to your MIDI controller. The monitoring state of the track will change automatically by the frame editor depending on whether a clip is being edited or not. You can change the track name to whatever you'd like. This will of course be displayed inside the frame editor. Next, add the corresponding controller device to the track. The launch pad device can be used to all of the launch pads. However, the launch pad pro requires a separate device. The push one and push two are satisfied with two devices, one for the main grid and one for the other buttons. For the push, set the input and output to the Ableton Push user port. You can use multiple instances of any controller device if you want to use multiple launch pads, for example, but make sure not to use multiple controller devices on the same MIDI track. The animations for this controller will be stored inside MIDI clips. In order to create a new animation, simply create a new MIDI clip in an empty slot. If you want to create an animation that takes place over multiple devices, you simply have to create a new MIDI clip for each track. The frame editor device needs to be inserted once onto any MIDI track. It passes the incoming MIDI events through, but it is recommended to use an unused MIDI track for it, since it might introduce a slight latency. Only one instance of the frame editor is needed, and you can remove this after your animations have been created. Editing clips. In the main view of the frame editor, you can set the speed of a new animation and how many clips will be linked together. The default speed of eight means that eight frames will fit inside one bar. Not all numbers are allowed to prevent rounding errors to happen. If you want to use multiple controllers at the same time, you need to link together the clips by changing the value in the clips box. Note that these values are only needed if you're starting a new animation. Once a clip has been edited, it will remember them by writing them into its name. This means that you can link together some clips whilst having others as solo. To begin editing, activate the edit mode with the edit button. After that, the device waits for you to select the MIDI clip you wish to edit. The clip color will blink to indicate your selection. By confirming it, the editor will open for you to start working on your animation. When multiple clips are linked and edited together, the first one to the le left is the one that needs to be clicked on. After the clip has been selected, its name will be changed. Important values will be added to it. By using multiple clips, only the first clip to the left will hold these values, and if a clip doesn't have a name, it will simply call it empty. Please feel to change the name of the clip however you like, but don't remove the values at the end, starting with the hashtag. As you can see here, hashtag frame. 